come up with this nonsense foolishness? So then it was like annoying me because I'm like, I'm just trying to praise my graphic designer. I came and praise my graphic designer in peace. And here they come making up some nonsense story. But this just goes to show y'all, even with all that bull ish that happened earlier this year and people trying to come and say, oh, I was making fake pages. I was doing this. I was taunting people. I was harassing people. Let me tell y'all something. Keisha Kaylee, myself, I have never done nothing like that. I have never made a fake page to harass, taunt, bully, slander, or anything like that. Anything that I've ever had to say about somebody, I've said to that person. And if I ever have to say about, say, come to my platform about it, I say it, and it's going to be my channel name attached to it. I don't have to create a page and do all that. It's, it's crazy to me. It's weird anyways. Like, who, like, come as you are. If you're bold enough to say it, come as you are from your own mouth. And that's how I am. I want whoever I'm talking to to know I'm the one who said it. I don't want you to question, doubt, or be like, dang, that probably was no. I want you to know. So I have never done nothing like this. But these two examples alone are 100% proof of how this type of stuff goes down behind the scenes. Just like Jeremy's son's mother and them coming to her. Keisha's harassing you. Keisha's making fake pages. Keisha's saying this. Keisha's saying that, y'all. I found out that y'all know how, like, if you click someone's page and you can see, like, their email. But... You know how you can click someone's email and it says, oh, to get back into your page, go to, and then it shows like the first four letters of the email or whatever. People are making email. I want a degree, but still need to work. Thankfully, WGU's accredited online programs are built for any with those first four letters and ending it however else different. And I found out one of the emails, because like I said, I was handling it legally. So Instagram released one of the accounts to my attorney. And I was literally on the ground kicking like a little child when I saw the email they came up with. Because y'all know what my email is, A Keisha 7 my business email. And like, so the first four letters would be still my first four letters. And then they will screenshot the page and say, aha, it's Keisha behind this page aha, like you're full of shit. Like, no, that's not me. Like people have literally went through great lengths to try to pretend. And like I said, even when my graphic designer didn't, like no one has ever heard me say, why would I even be saying something slick about my graphic designer? This is my graphic designer for crying out loud. This is like, what? But people are going to her trying to convince her. And had we had some type of pressure or beat or tension with our relationship, she could have possibly believed it. But that's exactly what happened with Jeremy's son's mother. Like, of course, we already had our unresolved issues because we were trying to handle those things. But it didn't help the matter when you have all these pages coming together to say, OK, we all go say this or we all go say that. Then people are reading these things like, wow, like she said this or she did. Like even my neighbor, she don't know nothing about this whole YouTube thing. She don't know nothing about me. She don't know me personally. She don't know him personally. She was pissed. Like she was getting on our necks. Like, OK, y'all told like I know y'all do YouTube and all, but you want to get these YouTube in check because y'all not about to affect my sanity and my zen over here where I stay dealing with your little trolls like you need to get them in order because I'm being harassed like these people are threatening me off of like trying to be funny and it's not even funny so just imagine someone who you don't like or like not even just my situation I'm talking about like all youtubers all celebrities just imagine these fake pages that probably be up in people's messages saying which has happened to me I've had plenty of people come to me and say oh such and such said this about you or there like I don't even know if it's true or not but I know for a fact I have proof of other people doing it to me so it's just really really unfortunate how that stuff goes down so y'all if y'all get an email from anyone alleging to be me and it don't have my actual official name attached to it it's not me if you one of my friends who are watching this or one of me and Jeremy's mutual female friends, because they always do it to, um, that's really where they go. And it's crazy to me. I can literally go and follow, which I have, 10 guys today. No, Like, none of them would get bothered. Like, no one, like, no one would be in their DMs, bothering them, saying anything to them, 